And we are back with part 6 of the No Damage Run Through Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES. Use this snake right quick to take out all the enemies. And all that kind of good stuff. If you're just now tuning into the run, uh, another thing that I'm doing on top of No Damage is equal character uses. I'm only allowed to use each character five times. Stupid quicksand. And all that kind of good stuff. So doing things, so doing it like that, I can't really float over everything with Peach or jump over everything with Lu Luigi, you know, stuff like that. Use this pumpkin to take out the fire breather over here, or use it to take out him and use the head to take out the fire breather. There we go. Okay, once you're in this area, do not jump down. Wait, wait a second for the snake to shoot and then jump down, then jump down, pick it up, use it to kill the other snake, and then go down the fifth jar slash pipe from the right, and then dig your way down to get the key. Of course, avoiding the shy guys. I usually try to dig a little path, and then, and then I'll uh, run over to another area, dig a new one, and make the shy guys take forever to get to me. And of course, avoid the little phantom. Throw the key once you're out, so he doesn't run into you. Then go through the door. What I usually like to do against this birdo, I build a little ball right, right here like that, and then I take this one, I go up here, jump down, hit him as I'm coming down, or after I land, Wait for him to, well, I'll usually wait for him to quit th shooting fireballs, but whatever. Then jump down, do it again, run through, jump up, wait for the fireballs to quit coming, and then pick up the next one and hit him again, same way you did before. Him, her, whatever it is, it. There we go. And go through the demon portal. Hmm. You think we'll use Luigi for this stage? This stage is really easy because you just fly over the entire thing. If you do it right, I guess. Get on this little uh, bird. I don't remember their names. Tetrons or some crap like that. Heck, I don't remember. Then ride this bird all the way across. Or eagle or whatever the heck it is. Just kind of do a little dance as we're going through. You don't got to worry about that little fire guy because he can't hit you. And of course, jump over Bezos and any other crap that gets in your way. Eventually, a big uh, column of these birds will come. Like that. And do what I just did, just jump over them. And then, yeah, I'd maneuver through all the other birds. And we should be just about to the end of this stage. But, yeah. For this birdo, uh, Luigi's kind of good for because you can th throw the little stool and then jump over it and land in a safe place, obviously. Jump down and get this stool here. Jump back up to safety, hit him from up here. It, whatever the heck that thing is. And just kind of let the fireballs go over you and get that one and hit him and, or hit it. God dang it, why do I keep calling birdo a guy? Looks more like a chick than anything. Whatever, Luigi, just go over here. And we should be just about there. There we go. Hmm. I think I'll use Toad next. And go through. Okay, this stage there's a big shortcut in it that I can take. Uh, you just go into the quicksand and keep jumping and uh, go over that way. And then there's a door that takes you straight to the boss. But I'm not going to do that because it would, I don't know, it, it'd just be like chickening out on the last stage, I guess. I don't know, it wouldn't be as entertaining, I don't think, for you guys to watch if I just skipped the entire level. You know what fun is that? Plus, this cave is kind of fun, I always thought. It's full of bob bombs and all that. I'm going to try to get all the cherries I can as I'm going through. Avoid all the bob bombs and their explosions. And, yep, use bombs to blow up the wall, obviously. That Neji should run into the explosion. Indeed. It's another reason why Toad is good for this stage, because he's quick. He can uh, make it to about any wall with a bomb in time to take it out. All that kind of good stuff. I think that there are ninjas up ahead, but it doesn't look like I can take a bomb with me, so let's go. Or not. Looks like I was wrong. Whatever. In this area, it's mainly just going from one vine to another a bunch, and avoiding little spider creatures, of course. Wait for that one spider right there to start coming back down for me to jump onto that vine. 
There we go. Make our way over to the left in just a second. There we go. And on to this vine. I think that this is the easier of the two paths. It may seem risky, but it's really not. And of course, take this vine over here. Avoid the sniff. It's in their little bullets that they shoot from their nose slash mouth or whatever the heck it is. Same with this one. Don't let that little spider creature push you up into it. Dumb spider. Okay. Try to land on the cloud if it'll help right here. Charge up your demon power and then jump up. And then, yep, go, go across these vines here. Not getting hit by the spider and all that stuff, of course. And switch over to the left vine. Like that. Same thing here. And, yep, just keep moving up and eventually go over to the right. Like that. And this should be the last vine, I think, right here. It was. And we are just about to the end. Should be directly inside here. Well, we had to fight a bird over us. Let's take this up there. Or, you know, get get it trapped in there so we have to use the eggs. Good thing Toad is really good for annihilating birdos. See if I can't get two hits in with one run of eggs. And I did. I love Toad for being able to take out birdos so quickly. And the boss is Triclite again. Like, like I did in the second world. Uh, you gotta make a barrier so that the fireballs don't hit you. Try to get it made ASAP. The sooner you get it made, the safer that you are. Three should be enough. And for that, use whatever stools are left down at the bottom to hit them with. Hopefully they don't land on the little platform that the triclide is on, because it'll sometimes mess you up. But it didn't mess me up. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that is it for part six.